Meghan wanted air fresheners for musty 15th century St. George's Chapel, but the palace said no. St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle couldn't have been more to Meghan Markle's liking. Historic and picturesque, with long family ties, it had it all. The only problem was, apparently, the smell. According to well-placed royal sources, the musty odor of the 15th century chapel did not find favor with the soon-to-be Duchess of Sussex, who asked for air fresheners to be deployed before her guests arrived. The same insiders report that Meghan's request to use the atomizers did not find favor with Buckingham Palace which swiftly pointed out that the chapel was a regular place of worship for the Queen, as it had been for successive monarchs since 1475, and if it was good enough for them, it would be good enough for her. It wasn't the only request Meghan was denied during a wedding. She didn't have access to the royal family's precious emerald tiara. When it comes to the royal jewels, what Meghan wants, Meghan doesn't get. It must have been a shock of a life to find out that she wasn't going to have access to the vault whenever she wanted. Earlier sources reported that Angela Kelly was the one who made Harry and Meghan angry because she prevented Meghan from seeing the tiara. Of course, she was under the Queen's orders, but in reality, there was another powerful woman who advised the late Queen on this decision because she knew about Meghan's plot. Still, anything from the royal family from the beginning, this woman is Jackie Meekin who's Queen Camilla's dresser now. Jackie's been working for the royal family even longer than Angela Kelly and was a favorite of the late Queen Mother. Meghan will never have access to the royal jeweler. She didn't respect the rules. Furthermore, the rumors that she helped Harry take out the jewelry that she didn't return. If Angela Kelly was tough, it seems that Jackie Meekin is worse. She's fiercely loyal. Jackie stopped Meghan from the start. Noticeably, the Queen's Marabondo tiara was said to be Megan something borrowed, but was there anything else? Specifically, the reflection, the Cartier bracelet which she wore in the musty St. George's Chapel. There were a couple of versions. The closest approximation cost $296,000 at the time. The reflection to Cartier earrings, which she wore on the same day for a reception, cost around $74,000 at the time. However, both the bracelet and the earrings have not been seen since. Both items came to almost a quarter of a million pounds between them at the time. The items were speculated as being wedding gifts from Harry or whoever, but no facts have emerged. But a source close to the Royal Insider said that Meghan kept them after the wedding and might have sold them. But she said to the palace and she lost it. This is an unacceptable reason, but fortunately, Jackie Meekin only gave fake jewelry to Meghan. Silicate earrings or bracelet that Meghan took were not worth as much as the real version. There are also rumors that Meghan sold some of the high-end clothing and billed them to Prince Charles. Her eye-watering wardrobe cost was one of the reasons why the royal family was happy for them to leave.